So today I want to take a look at a uh, new DeWalt Atomic Impact Wrench. I just recently did a video about how I was kind of not really blown away with this compact impact wrench. It's not that old. I mean, this is a fairly new model and uh, I was pretty let down by it. It's not really much more than the stubby going up to 18 volt. I thought that, you know, there'd be a big gap, but it really... The numbers just don't show the value to pay that much more for this bear tool than the M12 stubby. So I was kind of let down by this model. And then with this new Atomic DeWalt Compact Series, uh, this thing is super powerful. I was blown away by this thing. It has tons of power, uh, even with this little 1.7 power stack battery, which is super powerful. This four compared to a, this with the three. I don't have the compact three like this with 2700 cells. So these are the closest I really had there. But then even comparing them with these, this thing couldn't take off uh, some Ford Escape lug nuts really. It was struggling and just kept hammering and hammering and was not breaking loose. And then this, this new Atomic was just even with this little one seven and once we were I was matching them with the six it was uh just a clear cut that this is a huge leap for DeWalt. DeWalt has been uh really kind of far behind in the impact wrenches their impact wrenches were just so far behind Milwaukee that uh I mean, it, it was like a six, seven year gap as far as power tools, which advanced kind of like computers. They're just constantly making improvements and, you know, like most tools now are brushless models. Both of these are. And uh, that makes a huge difference in runtime, how much heat these things put out with the with the brushes rubbing against the stator, it just, it creates so much more heat than these brushless models. They can make them so much more compact because the, have the brushes and the motor, it takes so much more room to get even close to the same power, or in this case, far, far less. And this also, like the Milwaukee Compact, has the tri-light, and uh, this has different modes and also has just a light mode where you can turn on just the light. And uh, then you can set, there's one and two, and then these two screw modes. I haven't really looked at the manual, so I'm not sure exactly. I know one of these is gonna be like, I think believe the one with the tip is self-tapping mode. The second one here that's lit up. And uh, then there's one and two, and in two, this is far more powerful than this in three. And uh, just such such an improvement for DeWalt. Their mid-torque is supposedly far above the uh, Milwaukee mid-torque, which is one of my favorite impact wrenches. That's my go-to. I pull off most rims with it. I don't even go to the high torque most of the time unless I got something nasty and stubborn or maybe a bolt, you know, dropping down a uh, control arm or something like that that's really on there with a big nut and bolt. And uh, so this has got a lot of the features that made me want this. I really wanted these, these tri-lights, get rid of all the shadows and stuff like that. This is straight up and down almost in the back. So... This battery sticks out a lot, which is another thing I don't really like about a lot of these Milwaukee Impact wrenches, is that these batteries are so far out. So if, say, especially if you get a shorty socket on there, it's not even out as far as the battery. The DeWalt's have this nice little angle. It kind of goes up and you're kind of tilted away from it a little bit more. I don't know why. It seems so much better when I was using it and testing it on lug nuts. I was using a deep socket on both, but you had so much more clearance on this DeWalt for some reason at the bottom of a rim on a Ford Escape and uh, uh, some 
locking lug nuts off of a full-size Chevy truck but yeah I haven't had this but maybe a month or something but I just been blown away with this new atomic it's really this is probably the most powerful compact impact wrench that I've used so far and uh, I've used the Metabo with the multi-volt batteries uh, you know obviously the fuel the stubby half inch three eighths and this is just so far above all the other ones that I've tried oh and the cobalt I've used the cobalt but for the numbers this uh, rigid has some new impact wrenches coming out too so I have some pretty high hopes for them too because Rigid always is a good buy. If that's a starter set you got into a kit or something on a really good deal. They've, they've expanded their line into some of these, you know, more working on car related tools than they had previously. And they have ratchets out now. They have a whole new line of impact wrenches that are more compact and supposedly around the same power as the octanes and rigid usually does pretty honest numbers as well as dewalt these dewalt numbers they're actually showing this if you go to a torque test channel they'll show you on a dyno you can actually see the numbers of the power of this thing and it uh well no i don't know if they did i think they did the compact too and then they did the mid torque just the other day but both of those have really put this in the mid torque to uh, Milwaukee fuel mid torque to shame but the Milwaukee mid torque it's a gen 2 too so that's their second version of the mid torque and it was a pretty good leap from the first one it was uh, a pretty nice jump up in power more compact and a better design overall and uh, this is a really nice design, except for, like I said, I don't like where the battery is placed, and it's just a really straight up and down feel. But it's not far off, just that little slight tilt on the DeWalt gives you that. And that only in the two speeds, so um, one has pretty high power itself, but it has the classic DeWalt variable speed trigger that. You know, you can really feather it in there pretty nice if you need to. But mostly with the impact wrench, you're running them on and off or mostly off. Uh, and having these, this first one, that's what it is. This first screw one is the auto mode, which is kind of like the one on this. And then this other one is soft tap mode to run big lag bolts and stuff in like that and then there's one and two speeds but it's always nice to have a, a tool line that all their handles are generally DeWalt this thing is the same handle that I have on my big die grinder from DeWalt it's the same handle that is on the XR drill that I have it's a you know, I mean, they really try to stick to this handle on almost all their tools. I believe it's even the same on the big bandsaw I have, the big deep cut XR bandsaw. So that's a, a nice, you know, a feel that you're really comfortable with. And it's it's just like a muscle memory. You know the handle, you know that trigger, the feathering of it. They generally have a really nice variable speed on all their tools and uh DeWalt has made some good steps up in all their tools, really. I mean, they have made a lot of advances, but these impact wrenches are really showing some promise for DeWalt and, you know, possibly getting Milwaukee and others to step up and come out with a Gen 3 high torque, mid torque, compact, maybe even so. This thing just, just came out maybe a year and a half, two years ago, not that long ago, considering how everyone's been, you know, things have been slowed down for the last two years or so, so, but I appreciate everyone for checking it out, like, and subscribe, and, uh, you know, i like to give a thanks to uh, all my friends and other YouTube channels, uh, Joe the Tool Guy and uh, Suburban Beard, and check them out, uh, Tools with Souls, uh, PFAB, uh, they're, they're, uh, 
Pete of the Rum, I mean. Um, and there's a lot of awesome guys out there that do some videos that know a lot and really get down. Torque Test channel is awesome. That's a channel I really like getting some hard numbers and I appreciate them really getting into the science of it. And, you know, I go out and test my tools and I try them out and the stuff I'm working on. And I'm, a lot of times I'm pulling beds off of big trucks, F-250s, uh, Chevy 2500s, 3500s, even up to, I've done uh, 650s and stuff before, a Ford 650, which was a monster. And, um, so those uh, big impact wrenches do have their place, but these things are just really nice if you got to pull pulleys out or something. They're really tight in between radiators, things like that. So these compacts definitely have their place, but uh, having the right angle and the right placement of your battery is a big thing with things like that. When you're near uh, something that's painted already and, you know, I mean... Paint, as a painter, that's my main thing as I did for most of my life is painting cars, doing body work, things like that, so fixing wrecks. And uh, you don't want to damage paint for sure because you got to be the guy that has to do all the work and repaint everything, make sure it all matches and blend into the panels near it. And so you don't want to be scuffing things or kicking around and damaging, doing, dinging something on a customer's car or something. So you definitely want. Uh, to be comfortable with your battery not hitting things around you so I think that they've they've done a lot of things to recommend this over this which is why I can't really just be a Milwaukee guy or the walk guy because they both make so many good tools so you kind of have to just have a mixture and I try and keep it to the two I do have some other ones but these are my main two brands but this will be my go-to compact probably. This one will be hanging up as to where a lot of these are in like my hard cases that I grab. Well, this one, it sets over in a box with all my other impact wrenches. But this one's actually going to hang in my cabinet just to grab. It's got a lot of power for something compact. And next step up would be my uh, Milwaukee Mid Tour. So, thank you guys. Uh, and by the way, today's sponsor, Cresco Pest Control. We have the solution to your pest pro control problems. And uh, if you're in Northeast Ohio, give them a call. Uh, awesome guy and awesome company, and they do awesome work. And I definitely recommend them if you live in Northeast Ohio. So thanks a lot.